Welcome back to the Cabral Concept. Great to have you here. Can't wait to get started with our Friday review. Uh, One of the most fun shows I enjoy recording for you. Now that it's also live on video, if you're watching along on YouTube, you can check it out or simply go to today's show notes for all the links and the podcast and of course video there as well. That will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 1750. Can't wait to essentially recap the week with you today. I've got a book review coming on uh, that's actually very well written, and I just read this uh, last week, so it's pretty fresh for you here. Looking forward to sharing with you our special guest yesterday that appeared in the show, uh, going over a couple things at IHP and StephenCabral.com. Also want to go over brand new product review. Uh, You know I'm a huge advocate of getting good quality sleep, making the most of your time in bed at night, making sure that your bed is super comfortable uh, and that works with your body. So I just got a brand new product in uh, that I'll be sharing with you today and two to three research studies, uh, depending on how we get through time-wise. So, so much going on on these Friday reviews. They really are one of the most uh, fun shows for me because this is basically uh, my personality all rolled into one podcast, which is a little bit over here, a little bit over there, and uh, kind of all mixed together. So I guess we give it that integrative-based approach or integrative-based mindset. So first things first, what I want to do is simply share with you what's going on over at IHP. This is our last opening of the year, last opening of 2020. We will be closing now for about seven weeks, eight weeks or so. So about two months, uh, somewhere around there, seven weeks or so until 2021. And the reason why I'm saying if you have been thinking about getting into IHP, the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute, and um, it it wasn't the right time for you previously, I would really look at this last opening as a time to sign up, maybe have a little downtime uh, with the holidays or so over the next six weeks to eight weeks. Because what can happen is this, you can become a level one certified health coach really within about an eight to 10 week time. Now that's saying you get through every single module every week, But if you buckle up and you really want to do it, you can make it happen. And most people can get through level one really in 12 to 16 weeks. So what I'm saying is this, begin now. If you've been thinking about taking your health education or you've been thinking about becoming a health coach in 2021, now is the time. Don't wait till January because then you won't be certified until later in March or April. If you start now, it's going to enable you to get certified by the end of January and really get your practice up and running, start helping people, really working on maybe healing yourself, healing others, and that that's really our tagline. That's our motto. And our other thing that we always like to say is a health coach in every home. That is something that we've talked about for quite some time. It is my belief from now on, like from now on going forward, we need to make sure there is one person in every family that knows about good diet, good movement, good exercise, uh, talking about nutritional supplements, so that when things like viruses and uh, coughs and colds and all these things come about that they know where to go. They might not have all the answers, but they say, hey, maybe look at this lab test, use this immunity protocol, do this. And like, so it really, that is my outlook because it's not being taught in schools and certainly the media isn't sharing you uh, with you the full story. So Check it out. If you've never seen it before, download a brochure, speak with one of our uh, enrollment uh, counselors, IHP graduates. You can go to integrativehealthpractitioner.org. Now, today is also the last day. If you've been wondering how do I heal my thyroid imbalances, go to stephencabral.com forward slash courses. You will see all of my health accelerators there, my health results accelerators. And the very first one is our thyroid health results accelerator. It took 10 times the amount of time that I ever thought that it would take to uh, just basically outline the research for you, go through the underlying root causes, the imbalances. I give you all the protocols I would use uh, that I do use in my private practice at at a fraction of the price. So if you want to save $100, you can uh, check that out today. Today's the last day. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash courses. Simply click on the thyroid health results accelerator and begin to learn in one day what you need to do in order to be able to heal that thyroid. All right. And last but not least for what's going on in our global-based health community over at Equal Life, we are offering 
a free bottle of one of my favorite products, one of our most popular products, which is the Activated B Complex. Literally, this is a product uh, that's used by thousands and thousands of people all over the world, uh, many practitioners as well in their practices. And that is because we give you the right forms, the correct forms of B vitamins, all of the B vitamins, by the way, the entire B vitamin family, not just a few of them. And we give you them with what are called methyl donors that not only help with uh, detoxification on a daily basis, basis, but they help with healthy levels of inflammation as well. This is a product that's great for energy, that's great for brain fog, that's great for concentration, that's good for mood. It's an anti-stress-based vitamin. You're, you can get a free bottle, like absolutely free. You just take, you can, here's how to use it first. You take one to two capsules at lunch every day. Make sure you're taking your uh, daily nutritional support for breakfast or a daily activated multi at breakfast. Simply put, easy to use. It's going to last you one or two months, depending if you're using one or two capsules extra per day. Full serving is two capsules. And again, it's super simple. Yours free, $39.95 value, I believe. Uh, yours completely free with all purchases over $99 at equa.life. E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E. All right, recapping the podcast from the week, we had a fantastic week. I hope that you tuned in. We went over the three personalities, the, the basically the three faces that we all wear when we're around different types of people, in public, with close family, and ourself. I go through uh, what those are and how to work to be your unique you in more uh, phases of your life. On Tuesday, we went through the six holistic ways to heal naturally, meaning no matter what protocol you follow, and you can work with anybody in the world. I always say that, like, listen to the Cabral concept, get the information, work with whoever you feel comfortable. That's what it's always about. Use whatever you feel comfortable. Just maybe use me as a sounding board. I will get you the information. I've done the research. I've been in private practice for a long time. We've worked with well over a quarter million people now. We have so much data. I just want to share that data with you. Who you work with, what protocols you follow, is always up to you. No pressure on my end. But whatever protocol you use, just make sure it encompasses these six holistic ways. All right, number, uh, number uh, episode 1748, so that was 1747, the six holistic ways to heal. So episode 1748 was the top holiday health gift guide. Only healthy ideas, all, uh, I gave you a bunch, I try to narrow it down to five below $50, five uh, under $100, five under $300, and then five uh, where if you really want to spend the money. So that was a fun show. I do it every single year. And uh, of course, I make it really easy with all of those links. That was yesterday's show. Oh, sorry, that was Wednesday's show. And then yesterday, we interviewed Tanil. Tanil Dashwood uh, really enjoyed getting to know her over this particular podcast. Such a fascinating woman, uh, really an amazing human being, doing so much, obviously, in the uh, wrestling-based world, but also sharing her health journey with others. And it's pretty, it's, it's absolutely remarkable. And she actually had to take some time off from her job, from a profession that she's wanted to do since she was like 10 years old. So it's pretty amazing what she's dealt with over the last 20 years uh, and how she's sharing her healing path of overcoming some autoimmune-based issues. So check that out. And of course, uh, that was episode 1749. And today is 1750. That's where all the links will be. So now let's get into our product reviews for the day and then the research. All right. First product review, literally just got it in yesterday. I want to share it with you. Haven't even put them on my bed yet, but that is the Cozy Earth Sheets. These are the highest quality bamboo sheets that I've ever seen before. The write-ups on them are amazing. They're literally been been talked about by, well, I mean, I don't put too much credence in celebrity reviews and all that, but they've been all over like Good Morning America. Not that I watch Good Morning America, uh, all sorts of different shows. So I said, well, if they are one of the leaders in this uh, betting-based field and they're using non-toxic materials, this is something that I want to be able to bring to you. So let me just share this with you right now. So I'm going to show you. I know that not everybody watches this on video and that's okay, but it comes in a reusable tote bag, but not just any reusable tote bag. This is a canvas, non-toxic, reusable tote with a zipper on the top. Like this is actually a premium tote bag that I could see myself using again with uh, these faux leather handles. So let me actually share with you why I decided to go out and grab these sheets. They are billed as the world's softest 
uh, bamboo sheets, the world's softest bedding guaranteed, and they have a great guarantee on this. Um, they help with climate control, so they help with your body temperature. They are breathable, lightweight. They are a strong weave-based quality. They're certified free of chemicals and dyes. They work with ethical-based uh, manufacturers. They're easy to wash, and they wick moisture your sweat away at night because you lose about a, a liter of water of sweat uh, every single night. Again, they've been uh, they've been on the Kelly and Ryan show, Good Morning America, all over the places. Uh, but a lot of people are also writing in about hot flashes and really cooling their body as they sleep. I actually just, I couldn't wait. I, I ripped through the plastic here and I actually kind of said, hey, before I even think about reviewing these, where is the hole that I already put in it? Well, I guess I can make another. Uh, let me feel these sheets and they are unbelievably soft. So you know that I'm, you know, I go a little bit overboard with my bedding, uh, the sheets and all of those different things. But it's one of those things where you're spending one third of your day in bed and you also want to make sure that you're getting the deepest quality sleep. It's so important. And I've realized that you can't be hot at night. When my body is too hot at night, I don't get the deep sleep and the REM sleep on my sleep tracker. So I'm not getting my hour and a half of deep and I'm not getting my two plus hours of REM. And so I've realized that I need to keep that bed uh, bedroom cool, but I also need really breathable materials. So that's why, again, the avocado mattress, the Awara mattress, and something like Cozy Earth um, bamboo sheets can be absolutely fantastic. The other thing too is that you really want two pairs of sheets because Mo if you're like me, I used to not, wa I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't wash sheets too often. Uh, I should have washed them much more often. But your pillowcase alone should really be washed every couple days to a week maximum. Think about it. You wouldn't wear a t-shirt every single day of the week probably without washing it. Well, your face on a pillow has all sorts of oil and everything coming out. You really want to be, even if you only got the pillowcases, you want to be washing your pillowcases every couple days to at least once a week. So I recommend washing your sheets once a week. Of course, you could wash them more if you'd like, uh, but really you, you're sloughing off dead skin at night. I don't want to get too graphic, uh, but you really want to make sure you're sleeping on a comfortable bed and super comfortable sheets. So check this out. If they give our audience a discount, I'm absolutely going to send it along. But do keep in mind that the holiday season, typically companies are offering discounts anyways. So I'm going to link it up. Just go to stephencabral.com forward slash 1750. That's today's show. Okay. So next up, I'm going to bring to you um, my little book club. You know, I read multiple books per week. I love to read and I read every Thing. I really do. So this book actually was not recommended to me by anyone, but it popped up on my Amazon feed as something I might like. And I said, you know what? Why we get sick? Well, I'm an underlying root cause, uh, look at the imbalances kind of person. So I said, all right, let's look at what this book's all about. And I didn't read too much about it. I read um, the author's uh, PhD, so obviously well credentialed. I said, hey, let me just buy the book. So I had no idea what we were looking at. So I bought it, and the premise of this, Why We Get Sick, by this author, is all about basically imbalanced blood sugar or insulin resistance, to be more specific. And without a doubt, like that is a big reason. Now, uh, he does talk about some of the root causes, which is great. He talks about exercise. He talks about moving your body, um, talks about how all these things affect aging, and also then goes into obviously, um, different methodologies. Now, so this is a well-written book. This is a very well-written book. It's easy to read. This is only 200 pages. I wish I could write 200-page books. I'm going to do it in the future. Um, my mind literally does not allow me to, to keep it to 200 pages, and that's an issue. So, uh, you know, that I have to get these, I have to write a lot of these books much shorter. This is a well-written book. I actually love 200-page books because it tells you enough, it really gives you enough information without overloading you, and you can read this at 10 pages a day in three weeks, right? So it's easy if you're someone like me, well, you can take up speed reading and you can learn uh, how to read faster, and that's only if you want to, right? So I read for information. I don't necessarily read for like pure enjoyment. And so again, you don't have to do that. But here's where here's where he kind of loses me. And this book is written by uh, Benjamin Bickman. And again, um, if this gets back to Benjamin Bickman, this is a well written book, obviously a very intelligent individual. He's a professor, I believe at Brigham Young, it said, yes, scientist and professor at Brigham Young. 
And again, brilliant, very, very smart individual. You know, and, and this is how it should be presented. But the issue is this. It goes into conventional medicine-based interventions, such as pharmaceutical drugs. It gets into like gastric bypass uh, for weight loss. I, I am a root cause from a natural health perspective person, so I would not go that route, nor would I want to steer people in that direction because it doesn't necessarily get to the true underlying root causes. And the last, so, but, it, but okay, like again, I can get behind that because he's just presented it from all angles. The problem is, like a lot of people, he goes into a good short-term uh, diet plan, which is basically low carb. The problem is it then becomes quite high protein and higher fat. And we know then from other studies that could lead to cancer and other issues. So while I agree, I absolutely do agree in the short term, and we do it as well. If you look at our functional medicine detox, if you look at the first three weeks of fat lossity, which is our weight loss based system, if you look at these, you will see it mimicked. Okay, a little bit higher fats, right? A little bit higher protein for satiation, less carbs. We know it works, right? And here's what we do. Then we gradually reintroduce those carbs. They do not talk about in these books. And the problem is that none of the longest lived people lived on high fat, high protein diets. So that's why I just can't get behind it. I really can't. Now, I like that he says less canola oil, uh, less aspartame, like all of those things. Absolutely, like totally agree with it. The problem is when we do look at like the insulin friendly choices that you can eat until you're satisfied, well, it basically goes through lard and butter and cottage cheese and cream cheese and heavy cream and unprocessed cheese and yogurt and all types of meats and, and eggs and all the tofu and tempeh that you want. And the problem is that, yes, it's going to help with insulin resistance, but then it can cause other issues, right? That's the issue. That's what I look at, right? And the other part thing, when we look at, like, there's still things like bacon on this list. Even though it is two servings a day, that's still a decent amount of bacon. And we know that any type of processed meats can lead to serious health-based conditions, and some of that being cancer. So I just don't want to see people work on their metabolic syndrome, uh, well, and then at the same time end up with other health issues. So I like the book. I really do. It is worth reading. I just don't want this to be a long-term approach. I don't want this diet plan to be a long-term approach. Maybe a short-term approach while then becoming more balanced overall. So again, like the book, very smart guy, and um, very smart doctor. I always want to give people the, the due they deserve. I just don't love the conventional medicine part of it, but that's just me. And again, that's why these are my opinions. All right, so there you go. Why we get sick, I will link it up today, and you can check it out. All right, now we're on to our research study right on time. And this research study just so happens to kind of talk about with this book, because again, in the book too, although saying to limit alcohol, just want to quote this. Um, again, I like, I don't love that the, the mayonnaise is on there, you know, as a condiment. Um, but alcohol beverages, um, you know, talking about dry wines, alcohols, low-carb beer, alcoholic beverages, these can still lead to hypoglycemia the next day and rebound blood sugar issues, which is still an issue. And again, I don't, whole milk is on there. So can't get behind all the food choices, but I love the information in the beginning of the book. All right, here's a research study for you I want to share with you right now. And it is... Let's see. Men should have no more than one drink a day. According to a committee of health experts currently drafting recommendations for the U.S., many health experts now warn that research linking moderate drinking to lower risk for heart disease is flawed. Scientists also said research shows that men consuming two drinks per day per current guidelines is associated with a modest but meaningful increase in death rates from all causes. That means dying from all causes go ups, goes up when you drink two drinks or more per day, which is why the committee is recommending that the guidelines for men be changed to a single drink per day, the same for women. I've already gone through this research before, but I wanted to reiterate that any benefits that you can get from alcohol are outweighed by the alcohol itself. Okay, so here's the thing. If you really do want to drink alcohol, two to three drinks per week. That's what it's been shown. Like, honestly, it's two, two, three normal size drinks per week. So you could say, I'm going to have two to three drinks in one night. 
I'm going to have one drink over three nights or two nights preferably or one night a week two drinks which is really my preference for most people if you're gonna have alcohol choose one night enjoy it have a couple drinks and keep it at that allow your body to recover after that okay so next up uh, and the last one probably for today I'm going to share with you this is an important one depression after surgery although not talked about too often even after minor surgery that has gone successful many people deal with post-surgery depression and again it's almost never talked about feelings of hopelessness extending for two or more weeks after the operation can actually interfere with the recovery so what's recommended is that after surgery and just like before surgery make sure you set up a good support group maybe get some good self-help based books some self-improvement work in your mindset maybe talk with a therapist talk with a coach uh, get outdoors get some good sleep and this was actually um, written by Amy uh, Velodi, Velodi and PhD and um, quoted on health.com so I wanted to share that with you uh, I do have one more and I don't know that I mentioned it on a previous podcast and I kind of don't want to give it its own. So I'm going to add one more today. I have a, just a minute. I want to give it to you and then you can always look up it again. So treating hypertension could reduce dementia. So basically a meta-analysis of 12 trials with about 100,000 people show that taking medication to lower your blood pressure can reduce your risk for cognitive impairment and dementia by 7%. A decent number. That's statistically significant. My advice would be look for the underlying root cause of the blood pressure and then go to work on those underlying root causes but you you just must get your blood pressure in check so many people dealing with high blood pressure really the number two cause of mortality with strokes up there so you want to look at that and again i wanted to share that with you this research is out of the journal of american medical association and i will link it up today with all the other links and product recommendations at stephencabral.com forward slash one seven five zero take care everyone have an amazing weekend and of course if this show was helpful please do feel free to share it with anyone it could serve and tomorrow we will be back with our Cabral house calls answering all of our community's questions take care